Hi, welcome to MadamDeals.com. Today we're going to teach you how to do the Walgreens Easy Saver Rebate so that you can make some money and save a lot more money. Um, these guys are found at the front of your store as you walk in. They're also found online if you happen to lose this or your children make it into an art project, a paper airplane, what have you. They are just store coupons that you can use with the manufacturer's coupon. Um, there are several manufacturer coupons out there right now that will match up nicely with these Walgreens coupons. In the middle, they have a tally sheet of all the rebates that they're offering for the month. This booklet changes every month. It's actually going to be changing tomorrow, so I thought I'd show you this one today and explain how it's used. The first thing that you're going to do is go to walgreens.com and I'll hone into my computer so that you're not distracted by the mess on my desk, but not everything can be neat all the time. So you're going to register. What I would suggest doing when you register is get yourself a dummy email first so that you could submit all of these um, reward kind of programs, anything that you would enter on a website where they're going to send you promotional material so that your personal email isn't clogged up. Um, I would say that you need to check it at least once a day because there are a lot of great deals out there that you're going to get via email. So what you do is you register first. After you've registered, you type in your username. Mine's Madam Deals. Go figure. For this chat that we're going to have. Then you want to go over on your left-hand side under Shopping Tools and click on Local Weekly Ad. You're going to click on Easy Saver Rebates. Notice, though, they have coupons online. You can also print these from our site. But if you print out coupons online, manufacturer's coupons, you can use them with the Walgreens coupons. That's how you double up. So you want to do the Easy Saver Rebate. If you've lost your month's calendar because of children or you just lost it or you don't feel like carrying it, you can find it online. What I usually do is I just um, print out the tally sheet and I keep that in my handy dandy binder so that I know what coupons I should be looking for so that I can snag some really good prices on these deals so that I can use my coupons, my rebate, and hopefully catch the product on sale to maximize my dollar. What I do is I go to claim rebate. I'm going to add in a receipt. So I click on start and add receipt. I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to click on what I bought, and I bought this Physician Formula Makeup. I got a concealer because it was 40% off, and a blush bronzer because I want to look like I have a tan, but I don't, but I don't want to wear a lot of makeup because it looks tacky. Um, I had a coupon for $2 off. I spent $12. I'm going to get my rebate back, so those products are free other than the tax. Um, so I click on this product. The other thing that I took advantage of was the Energizer water slide offer. If you spent $20 in batteries, you can mail away for a free water slide. That should give me at least a half an hour of um, Mommy, what do we do next? Free. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and plus, all my children's toys rely on batteries. I also use coupons, and then I receive $2 on the back end in an easy saver in a register reward which is kind of like extra care bucks at CVS. You can only spend them at Walgreens. So I got $20 worth of batteries for about $18. I know, not a huge savings. I mean, however, I get a water slide. Um, I needed the batteries. It's a good deal, all in all. So I'm going to click on these two products. I'm going to click Continue. I'm going to enter in the store receipt, which is found at the top of your receipt. You can see it right here, though. Walgreens does a good job. So then I'm going to save the receipt. If, in fact, you're going to do this every shopping trip like I do, then you're just going to save your receipts. If, in fact, you're going to do it at the end of the month, you just want to keep, you just want to keep your receipts in a safe place, and then you enter them in all at once, and then what you do is you, you will cash out if you've entered them all for the month at one time. You do not want to cash out after each receipt because it will not allow you to do so. 
what it'll say to you is you've already entered your rebates for the month. So don't make that mistake, otherwise you'll end up with only one week of shopping trips rebates. But if you wait until the end of the month to enter them all in, then you could just select, I want either a check back or I want a Walgreens gift card. I would suggest you do the Walgreens gift card because they pay you 10% over the total that you are owed. Well, I hope that shows you how easy Walgreens rebates are. And I hope that you start doing them because you can get some great deals, save some money for your family, and if you really feel like it, you can give the gift cards to other people for gifts.